Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. in television history, we've been able to rush our cameras to the scene of an accident and see the fabulous Thunderbird International Rescue Team in action. Hold on, Mr. Kerr. We're going down. Friends, you heard what the pilot said. Stay by your screens. The first dramatic pictures will be flashed to you in seconds. there is the fabulous Thunderbird craft. I've been told since landing that this rescue is fairly routine, so there'll be none of that wonderful equipment in use. But does that matter? After all, it isn't the equipment that interests us, no sir. It's the great guys who use it. Make room for the cameras, folks. Clear away. Move back there. Thanks. Thank you. Well, viewers, now you can see what happened. A hidden underground well suddenly collapsed. Before it was even known a man had been trapped, International Rescue were on the scene and... What's that, Joe? I just heard. They're on their way up. Oh, God. Great, great. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll see if I can get a word with him. Get back. Give him some air. He's okay. The phenomenal International Rescue Team has done it again. Another human life has been saved. Excuse me, sir, but have you got a word for our viewers? Sorry. You know the rules. No TV. No photographs. Yes, but as a member of International... I Rescue... said no photographs! International Rescue does it again? I don't get it, Father. I just don't get it. Kind of strange. I agree, Scott. But if those fellows have dedicated themselves as we have, who are we to complain? But they're using our name, Mr. Tracy, and they've copied our uniforms. I know, Tintin. Sure, it's unethical, but is it so important? You read the report, they saved a life. That's what counts. Your father is worried, Scott, and upset, despite what he said. Of course he is, Tintin. We all are. Somehow, I don't know, it just doesn't figure. I wish I knew what really happened.
That's it, gentlemen. Now you know how they did it. There is, of course, no doubt that their plan succeeded. None. International Rescue faked the whole thing to steal the plans of the AL-4. They were successful. Yeah, no worries. Quiet, please, gentlemen, quiet. This meeting's task is to decide on the course of action we must take. The course of action that must see those plans back in our hands. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Sure. Uh, General, I, I still can't believe that International Rescue would pull a stunt like this. Oh, come off it, Jack. We've been taken by that outfit, and we've been taken good. Now, here's a map showing the rescues that, to our knowledge, they've pulled off. All carefully spaced out, gentlemen. Spaced out, so we get no idea of where they're operating from. And naturally, they've always been most insistent that we shouldn't try and find their base. Quite a plan, eh? And boy, what fools we were to go along with it. Yeah, but to perfect this plan of appearing and striking without raising any suspicion, they've had to spend millions on their machines. Now, does this make sense? Sure it does. The AL-4 project, the strategic fighter capable of speed of accelerated light, cost this country $25,000 million. Compared to that, their setup cost peanuts. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Right, right. You want to know what we're going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're organizing a search force the like of which the world's never seen. They'll cover every inch on the face of the globe if they have to. We'll find those rats you take my word for it. We'll find them. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're, right. Fine. you're right. You're right. Yeah. is the central office of the General Staff Command to all search controllers. You are to proceed to your stipulated areas. International rescue must be found. Search and double check. Repeat, international rescue must be found. I guess that's it. Yeah. We're watching our area so well that if a kid sends up a kite without permission, we'll track it. If International Rescue, or whatever they call themselves now, are operating from the South Pacific, they need only make a move. And we've got them. And if they don't make a move, our search force will smell them out. Television reporter Eddie Kerr bringing you the latest in the search for the traitorous international rescue gang of crooks. Traitorous However, crooks? How do you like that? I heard, later. Virgil. We filmed an interview today with General Lambert, Supreme Commander of the search operation, and, well, let's take a look at it. Well, folks, this is General Lambert. General, first of all, I'd like to say thanks for letting us drop in. We know you're a very busy man right now. Yes, yes, sir. Well, uh, <coughs> it's a pleasure, Mr. Kerr, pleasure, but... Yeah, I, like I bet it is. Hunt, really That's happy. enough, Gordon. First of all, how is the search coming along? Well, I think I can say that everything is going according to schedule. Yes, I can definitely say that. Categorically. Have you any idea at all where their hideout is? Uh, no. But there are more favorable areas than others. For example... It's reasonable to suppose they don't work from a highly populated area. 
Secondly, their seagoing equipment suggests an island. The weather is another factor. We know what's going on without having to listen to that. What are their chances of finding us, Mr. Tracy? They won't find us, Tintin. We're too well hidden for that. They'll search the island, of course, but people have been here before. That's no problem. Well, what are we going to do, Dad? Only one thing we can do, Scott. Find those guys, those imposters who stole the plans. Meanwhile, we don't operate as international rescue until this whole business is cleared up. But what if we receive an emergency call, Father? We just have to sit tight. You mean just ignore it? That's right. But people could be dying somewhere, depending on our help. What you boys must get into your heads is that we are powerless to help anybody in this present situation. If we attempt any sort of activity using our international rescue crafts or operate in any way, we are going to be clapped into jail. Now, is that clear? Yes, sir. Well, what's the action? First and foremost, we've got to find this bunch of imposters who are operating under our banner and clear our name. But where do we start, Father? We haven't a thing to go on. Well, this is where our agents come in. As you know, International Rescue have got agents all over the world. This map shows the network and the territories covered by each individual. All agents will be alerted. Every piece of information, however unimportant it is, to be radioed in. Lady Penelope will leave for the States in order to question eyewitnesses in case they can throw some light on the situation. We'll find them, boys. We've got to. <laughs> The car awaits, madam. I'll just collect the rest of your gear. Thank you, Parker. Pity I couldn't take all that I wanted to. But this is an emergency mission. Please fasten their safety belts. Oh, uh, very nice. I must say, belady. I, I always think myself it's the best way to travel. First class. Worth that bit extra. Oh, by you. The service isn't quite what I would expect, but uh, these young fellas don't have the training that I had. Quite, Parker. Quite. High 200,000 feet. Level off. Difficult. It will be very difficult. Hey, beg your pardon, man. Oh, nothing particular, Parker. I just hope that one of our agents somewhere will find something. That'll do for supper. Strange. Mighty strange. Hi there, 
time, Ma. Huh? I kind of think this will be a my tasty. All I can say is that little fella must have sure taken some catching. Rick and I'm a mite late, but uh, had to get up to the old mine on account of some business. Business? What business? Well, now, Ma, thank for me to see. Kind of between me and that thar Mr. Tracy. What you see? Can't rightly see. But the orders were to report anything that might suspicious. And that's sure what it was. Suspicious. This is Agent 47 calling International Rescue Base. Go ahead, Agent 47. Thank you for your assistance in the search of the island, Mr. Tracy. Sorry we had to trouble you, sir. Well, that's quite all right, Colonel. I hope you find the ones you're looking for. We'll find them, sir. Don't worry. <laughs> Message received. Over and out, and thanks. That's okay, young fella. Glad to oblige. They gone, Father? They have for now, but my guess is they'll be back. Messages still coming in, Alan? Yeah. This one's from Agent 47. Sounded sort of hillbilly. 47? Oh, 47. Oh, Jeremiah. Yeah, he's a hillbilly, all right. Who the heck's that? <laughs> oh, he's quite a character. Met him when I was in the service. He worked on the base. Always been doing favors, straight as they come, as Jeremiah. So you made him an agent? Yeah, he kind of guessed about my plans and what I hoped to do one day. When he asked to help, well, how could I refuse? What's he got to say, anyway? Aircraft tire tracks. Hmm. Open country. Could be an aircraft made a forced landing there. Not much to go on. File it, son. No action. It's on your mind, Mo. Well, I was just wondering if there's anything out of that old mine. Yep. So wondering the same thing was ill. Hey, this is the best hideout I ever had, Jenkins. Yeah, and the best deal. We make a fortune. An international rescue take the rap. Yeah, kind of tough on those guys, though. Yeah, I'm eating my heart out. <laughs> <laughs> So the first exercise found nothing. Well, we knew it wouldn't be an easy job when we started. We're just gonna divide up this map and start again. For the security of the world, international rescue have got to be found. That's no good. Fault goes right through the circuit. We'll have to work on the antennae outside as well. I don't like the idea of telling the general we're off the air. But I guess the quicker I get it over, the better it'll be for my ulcers. Search control from Space Observatory 3. Search control from Space Observatory 3. Come in, please. This is search control SO3. Go ahead. Tracking device DKO has developed a fault. We are non-operational as of now. Schedule show you monitoring South Pacific area. Check. Check. South Pacific area and bordering land masses. Over. How long do you figure you'll need for repairs? Three to four hours at least. That was the message I picked up, Dad. The space station watching for us in the whole Pacific area has closed down for four hours. Thanks, John. It doesn't make much difference. If we did manage to take off without being discovered, they'd track us on the return trip. Yeah, I guess so. Just thought I'd let you know. Sure. Oh, well, keep listening in. You may hear something to help us. Okay. How's it going down there, anyway? We're plowing through the agent's reports, hoping for a lead. I wish you luck. Oh, at least we're not the only ones with troubles. What do you mean they'll be off the air for four hours? That was a message, sir. 
Tracking device DKO has broken down. Well, don't just stand there. Get them on the radio. I'll talk to them. Okay, that's it. I'll start with the antennae. Work right back through the system. Yeah, I'll do the same from this end. SO3 from search control. SO3 from search control. Come in, please. This is Space Observatory 3. Go ahead, search control. General Lambert for you. Lambert here. Now, listen to me. I want that space station of yours fully operational in the shortest possible time. If not sooner. Is that clear? Yes, sir. We're just about to start, sir. I'm going to send Elliot out through the airlock. Then get to it, man. Get to it. Call me back when you've fixed it. Right. Let's get started. You ready then? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Rush it. Better use your tie ropes and double check them too. fine. You don't want you drifting off into space. Call me if you want me. I gotta make a start in here. My readers in England are as intrigued by this whole business as you are here. Well, I guess the whole world is outraged by those... those rats. International rescue is certainly a dirty word around here. Uh, quite, quite. Well, thank you for all the information about the so-called rescue, Mr. Kerr. Uh, you say that afterwards the two, uh, rats left in their international rescue jet. Yeah, that's right. Heading south-southwest. South-southwest. Good. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Kerr. You've been too kind. It's been a pleasure, ma'am. A real pleasure. Now, how about some lunch? Oh, thank you. But no, Mr. Kerr. I'm afraid I've got to pass this information on to my, uh, my chief. And after the rescue operation, the imposters made off in their aircraft in a south-southwesterly direction. Probably a blind. Although they wouldn't want to go too far out of their way. I checked the weather reports for that day. North and east are out. Uh, what sort of a jet was that again? Well, Eddie Kerr wasn't too certain. Probably an EJ-2. Hmm. Well, that's not a long-range jet. A thousand miles at the most. So the imposters couldn't have had far to go to their base. It's not much to go on, but it suggests we'd be best to concentrate our attention on this area. Well, which agent covers that area, Father? 47. 
47. Hey, Alan, didn't we have something from Jeremiah Tuttle? Yes, Father, we did. He reported seeing some aircraft tracks, remember? Yes, I do. Right, Penny, tell Parker to stand by with the rolls. I've got another mission for you. Right, Jeff. The emergency call sign, Jeremiah? Sure is. That's why I'm rushing, Mo. Go right ahead, Mr. Tracy, sir. That report of yours, Jeremiah, about the undercar tracks. Looks like there might be something in it. I'm sending our London agent to see you. Now, that's right doggone decent of you, Mr. Tracy. Don't have many visitors around these parts. Her name is Lady Penelope. I want you to meet her and give her all the help you can. She's going to investigate those tracks. Tain't travel, is it, Jeremiah? Reckon it might be just that, Mo. I'd be obliged if you'd lend a hand to get the chickens out of the truck. We're going to need it. Here. I've had to strip it right down, Elliot. It's still around two hours' work. Uh -huh. Stand by the airlock. Sure. Ah. What did you say? There's nothing wrong, is there? Uh, no, it's okay. I just lost a spanner, that's all. I'm coming in now. Crazy road hogs getting in the way of my beautiful wagon. All right, baby, here we go. 
That's my baby! That's my baby! Dang it, we're gonna be late for that there appointment with Lady Penelope. I'm sorry, Ma, but I'm just gonna have to use the supercharger. <laughs> His suit will protect him from the radiation, but allowing for the time he spent working outside, I guess he's only got about three hours of oxygen left. Well, there's no chance of you getting him back with the retro pack? None. He moved too fast for me to get a direction. I tried the scanners before I called. I guess he's registering on it somewhere, but so are thousands and thousands of meteorites. The only chance he has is if you can get a rocket launched. Listen, Hale. You know as well as I do just how long it would take to get a ship to your sector? Yes, sir. It's ironic, but only international rescue would have been... International rescue? Suppose we just try and remember what this operation is all about, huh? Yes, sir. How long before you can get that satellite on tracking duty? An hour, sir. Then I suggest you get working. Elliot gave his life for the success of this detail. And I'm going to make sure it wasn't in vain. <laughs> Message received. Thanks, John. But he's got just three hours up there. We've got to do something, Father. Alan, what can we do? Unless Penelope comes up with something, we can't make a move. I know I, uh, I don't really have to say this, but there's a man's life at stake. That's right, Scott. A man. One man. And if we're discovered and put out of business, it could be 500 over the next few months. Now snap out of it, boys. I feel the same as you. Worse. But we can't help him. our plan of action. Kind of figured that as I know this part of the country, you'd let me handle it, Lady Penelope. I'm sorry, Jeremiah, but I want this one all to myself. Come on, Parker. I don't rightly reckon they'll get very far in that there fancy buggy. Nope, they sure won't. What's the matter, Parker? Bugged down by the mud, I'm afraid, my lady. Well, never mind. We can get up to the mine on foot. Sorry, milady. That must be the hundredth time you've done that. I'll lead. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, 
Oh, no. In trouble, Milady. Oh, never mind. Come on, Parker. After three, that guy out in space has less than two hours to live. Still open, Langfield? Yes, sir. Still open. Hale, are you operational yet? Won't be long now, sir. All right, boys. Alan, Scott, we're going after him. The search is still on, Dad. I'm well aware of that. But it's just feasible that Penelope will clear us in time. If not, we'll take everything as it comes. The thing that matters is that we're the only ones with any hope of saving that guy in space. Alan, take Scott with you. Sure. We've left it late, but do your best to save him. Okay, away you go. Stand by for blast off. Lift off. Sector 4 reports unidentified rocket launch. Did they get a bearing? No, sir. It didn't register till it was two miles up. I can't believe it's international rescue, but keep a closed watch on it anyway. Yes, sir. We would have pinpointed that launch site if the satellite had been with us. I better switch on the tracking equipment. 
We're in the area. Yeah, there's a station now. I know it's hard to believe, sir, but I tell you, International Rescue are going after Elliot. That must have been the craft we picked up in Sector 4. I don't get it, sir. I thought we'd seen the last of them. There's nothing to get, Hale. They've got the equipment, and it looks like one of them's got a conscience, that's all. But this changes nothing. There's still 100 criminals. I want you to track them into their base. We'll be waiting for them. How long do you need? I can start tracking in 10 minutes. Try increasing the range. Well, I'll try. But if I extend it any more, we may pick up so many trails we won't know which is Elliot. There. Did you see something? Yeah, a fleck of interference. And then the picture broke up. I got a rough bearing. Let's take a closer look. Right, Alan. Try it on vision. There he is. Oh, what are we waiting for? Let's go and get him. Hey, a few more hours, and the plane should be back with the fire. That's it, Corella. And it'll take good American dollars to buy this little lot. They can keep their foreign money. It this must be it, lady. We've got them cornered, all right. I'll fire a warning shot. Oh, no. Parker, why did I ever come here? Why? Look at all this mud. It's everywhere. Someone out there. Get the rifles. It's it not so loud, lady. If they are in there, they'll hear you. Oh, Parker, why, why didn't I let those, those hillbillies do this? Hey, look, two of them. Guess I'll shoot first and ask questions after. Guess it's about time I took a hand, Mo. better come on out of there and give yourselves up. Oh, Jeremiah. We thought someone was firing at us. Hey, they got us hemmed in, Jenkins. Maybe they have, but we don't give up that easy. Come and get us, wise guy! Oh, dear. They're going to make a fight of it, Jeremiah. Yep, kind of looks that way. Pass me those cans of beans, will you, Mo? Beans? But this is no time to eat. Eat? I guess you ain't been around these parts long enough to heard about Maul's beans, man. They got us pinned down now. Okay, you win. <coughs> hey, let's get out of here. <coughs> <coughs> Yes, sir. Uh, I understand, sir. Very good, sir. The search is cancelled as of now. I haven't got the full story yet, but I have just received my orders direct from the White House. International rescue have been cleared. 
They are to be given all cooperation. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Space Observatory 3 to search control. I'm about to start tracking. Hail. He'll do nothing of the sort, do you hear? International rescue are cleared. Switch off your equipment. Yes, sir. Well, this is where we say goodbye, Elliot. Yeah, I, I know I keep saying it, but you guys saved my life. Thanks. And, well, it's, it's just great that you guys have been cleared. You can say that again. That call for us from base sure lifted a lot of worries. Well, there's no one better qualified than me to say it's terrific to see International Rescue back in business. Thank <laughs> you.